Hi, welcome to Medicosis Perfectionalis. Today, let's talk about Potter sequence, or as our friends in the UK says, Potter sequence. Okay, so Potter sequence, and the word sequence has a meaning that we will see later. So, the problem is renal agenesis. There is no kidney. Okay, no kidneys. It's called a genesis. Genesis means formation. A means no. No formation of kidneys. Okay, so let's get started. So, a sequence is events occurring after one another. Okay, so one thing leads to the other. So, we start with renal agenesis, no kidneys. Okay, and what do kidneys produce? Urine. So, no kidney, no urine. Renal agenesis leads to no no urine and the amniotic fluid which surrounds the baby and provides nutrition and stuff and protection um, this will be decreased in amount because the amniotic fluid has urine in it the source of urine is not there so the amniotic fluid which has urine is decreased in amount or in volume okay what will happen so this amniotic fluid acts as a cushion okay protection for the baby from the pressure of the surrounding uterus when there is no cushion or there is no protection there is more pressure on the embryo or the fetus okay also when there is no fluid the uterus tends to decrease in size or narrow which will create more pressure on the baby okay this more pressure will lead to many symptoms such as limb abnormalities such as lung hypoplasia and why is that some of this amniotic fluid will go inside of the lungs to inflate them literally like physically stretch them also, the amniotic fluid has some amino acids, okay, such as proline, for example, that helps in the formation of the lungs. So, the lungs are not mature enough or are not formed in a good manner. It's called lung hypoplasia. And by the way, this is the main cause of death in Potter sequence. So, what are the features or the signs and symptoms? Okay, we will have epicanthal folds, okay, which leads to false squint or false strabismus. We'll have low set ears, flat, broad nose. Micrognathia, which is small jaw. This is powder sequence. What else? The face is flat due to more pressure on the baby in the uterus due to oligohydramnios. Of the limb abnormalities that are there are bow legs, also known as genoverum. Sirenomelia, which is fused leg, also known as mermaid legs. Mm -hmm. Club foot, which is kind of inverted, and other abnormalities of the extremities. Very high yield. How to manage it? Try to ultrasound the baby, okay, in order to know that he or she will have Potter sequence. The prognosis is very poor due to 
lung hypoplasia, which is the main cause of death. I hope you liked the video. Please subscribe. We have new videos every single week. Please like our page on Facebook and stay tuned for more to come. Let me know in the comments what you think and what videos you'd like to be created in the future and we will make it happen. Thank you very much for your support. Take care.